Namaste. This is Ali, and this is a guided yoga nidra experience. Welcome to your practice today. Could you please take as much time as you need to get completely comfortable? You might lay on the earth in a savasan position, or you might have your very own yoga nidra nest where you can cocoon your body with blankets and pillows and props. Perhaps covering the eyes. Take your time to get ever so cozy and supported for your practice today. And once you've found that place within your body where you can land in stillness, We'll take a few breaths to help calm the nervous system down even further. Inhaling and exhaling through the nose if possible. So on the next in-breath, could you inhale to the count of one, two, three, four. Exhaling for six, five, four. Three, two, one. Inhaling at your own pace to the count of four. And then exhaling slowly, relaxed, gentle, for the count of six or seven. Letting your mind be absorbed in this task of counting out the breath for another four or five rounds. Inhaling, exhale slightly longer than the inhale. you take one more full breath like this. And let your breath come back to a natural and easy rhythm. Notice the sensations of the air around you and within your nose. Notice any sensations of warmth or coolness on the body, the density of the ground or the support beneath you. Notice any sounds within your space and sounds on this recording. And allowing the gentle monotony of the bowls to entrain your brain waves into a gentle, meditative state.
encouraging the body to soften, consciously releasing the jaw, the tongue, all of the little muscles within the face, each little intricate facial muscle releasing in the eyes, behind the eyes, the forehead, and letting that sense of softening spread through the whole scalp, the entire head. sort of relaxing open. You might even imagine your mind a muscle that could soften and relax open now. Could you welcome an intention for your practice today? And your sankalpa might be Something simple, such as, I will remain aware throughout my practice today. Or, you might like to bring in something meaningful to you, such as, I create peace within myself and within the world. Or, I trust in the intelligence of life itself. Could you feel a connection and presence within your heart as you repeat your intention three times now? And now, rotating attention throughout your body as you welcome a focal point of awareness, you might imagine a tiny golden light igniting at each point along the journey. Starting by bringing all of your attention to the crown of the head. From the crown of the head to the right side of the head. The left side of the head. The center of the eyebrows. The right temple. The left temple the right side of the nose, the left side of the nose, the right earlobe, the left earlobe, the pit of the throat, right side of the throat, left side of the throat, the right collarbone, the left collarbone, the center of the heart, to the right side of the chest, the front of the right shoulder, the right underarm, the outside of the upper arm, the point just above the elbow crease, the point just below the elbow crease, the center of the forearm, the center of the wrist, the right side of the wrist, the left side of the wrist, 
the center of the palm, the base of the thumb, back to the heart center, the left side of the chest, the left underarm, the outside of the upper arm, the point just above the elbow crease, the inside of the elbow, the outside of the elbow, the center of the forearm, the center of the wrist, the right side of the wrist, the left side of the wrist, the back of the hand, the base of the thumb, and back to the heart center, the navel, the low belly, the point on the inside of the right hip bone, point on the inside of the left hip bone, down to the top of the right thigh, and now the point just above the kneecap, the knee itself, down to the inside of the ankle, the outside of the ankle the top of the foot, and now the point where the big toe and the second toe connect, the point on the back of the right ankle, the Achilles, moving up the back of the leg, sensing the center of the calf, the back of the knee point just above the back of the knee, the center of the back of the thigh, the point near the right sits bone, and the right side of the sacrum, and now sensing the front of the body. Coming back up to the point just inside of the right hip bone, and back over to the left hip bone, the top of the thigh, the front of the thigh, the point just above the kneecap, the knee itself, and down to the inside of the ankle the outside of the ankle, the top of the foot, and the point where the big toe and the second toe connect. And now moving to the back of the left ankle, the back of the center of the calf, back of the knee, the point just above the knee, the back of the center of the thigh, the left sits bone, the left side of the sacrum, continuing to move up the back of the body sensing the back of the right side of the waist, back of the left side of the waist, the point between the shoulder blade and the spine, the right side, the point between the shoulder blade and the spine on the left side, the right shoulder blade, the left shoulder blade, 
the top of the right shoulder, the top of the left shoulder. the base of the skull on the right side, the base of the skull on the left side. Imagining each point of awareness gently glowing with golden, radiant lights, like little stars in the constellation of your body. Imagine your whole body gently glowing and you're just basking in the light of each tiny starlet. And as you bask in this saffron glowing light, might you imagine, might you bring your attention to the natural rhythm of breath, sensing the inhalation and the exhalation. And as you inhale, might you welcome or imagine the glow of the lights to become more vibrant, like they could become stronger and brighter with each inhalation. And on the exhale, you might imagine the glow fading slightly, just imagining or sensing On the inhale, a sense of warmth or glowing lights increasing. On the exhale, gently fading. Just the natural rhythm of breath. A glowing constellation of 108 tiny stars. And continuing to notice the breath, might you let all of your attention come towards the right side of the body and the tiny points of light throughout your whole right side. You might imagine the left side could fall away into darkness and the whole right side coming alive with sensation and radiant tiny glowing light. Sensing the aliveness of the whole right side of the body. Feeling the breath flowing through the whole right side. And then giving time for your attention to transition over to the left side of the body. Imagining or sensing the left side coming alive with sensations and glowing tiny starlets of light. You might imagine the right side could fall away into darkness, invoking the aliveness that's already happening in trillions of cells on the left side of the body. as your awareness saturates the whole left side. 
full of tiny glowing lights on the left side body. And then giving time for attention to transition back over to the right side. You might imagine the left side falling away into darkness as the tiny glowing lights reignite throughout your whole right side body. And your attention saturates the whole right side full of sensation, breath, warmth, and aliveness. And then, once again letting the right side fall away into darkness as your attention saturates the entire left side body and the glow of tiny lights reignites just imagining or sensing the glow of a radiant light sensation and energy saturating the left side of your body. And now could you welcome both sides equally, sensation attention the glow of dozens of tiny lights throughout the entire right side of the body the entire left side of the body the whole front of the body and the whole back of the body like a little constellation of stars within a galaxy of 100 billion stars. Sensing the light of those billions of stars glowing all around you. Sensing the pockets of stillness and silence in between the stars and planets. And just imagine yourself sort of resting back into that stillness. Peaceful and calm with a brilliant and vibrant galaxy of stars floating all around you. Allowing yourself to rest deeply as you bask in the peacefulness and the brilliance of this blanket of stars 
360 degrees all around you. Resting so deeply now. And if it feels right, might you welcome your intention to be here with you now. You might feel it or mentally state it. Invite it to be all-encompassing and true in this very moment. And now, from the galaxy of stars all around you, might you begin to welcome back a sense of the support beneath your body and the density and shape of your physical body, the breath and the movement of breath in your belly, in your chest. A sense of the environment around you, sounds, structures and objects. Perhaps there's a sense of light or darkness beyond your eyelids. Slowly begin to encourage a deep breath down into your belly and then release it through an open mouth and just doing that a couple of more times in through the nose, out through the mouth and again. And then might you begin to move the fingers or touch the thumbs to the fingers ever so gently. When you're ready, small movements of the toes. Maybe you turn the head from side to side. And gradually bringing in more movements whether it be a stretch or a bend of the knees, a hug of the knees to the chest, or a transition over to laying on the side of the body. Take some time to make these slow and easeful transitions.
and you might take another round of deep breaths. As you begin to re-emerge from your practice, you might welcome back your sankalpa, your intention, even as you're reawakening from the experience of your practice today. You might take some time to stay in your quiet space, perhaps journaling or reading of a text that is sacred to you or helpful or nourishing for your mind. Or you might like to take some gentle yoga movements to reawaken and I will link a practice at the end of this recording. And thank you so much for joining me today. Again, my name is Ali, and of course you're always welcome to pause this recording if you'd like to linger a little longer or remove your headphones if you do not wish to listen to updates or announcements at this time. I will mention that I have been getting a lot of messages lately from people who are going through some type of healing journey right now. And I wanted to let you know that I did make a video a while back where I talk about some of the most frequent messages that I get from people about what Yoga Nidra is helping them to move through in terms of challenges or conditions in their lives. So if you'd like to check out that video, I will link that at the end of this recording as well. If you would like to dive deeper into learning about Yoga Nidra, within myself and my team, you might check out our online Yoga Nidra teacher training. I can't really say enough about the feedback that we get from the trainees and the community inside of this training um, and the way that it transforms people's lives and the brilliant ways in which the graduates of this training are creating such sacred spaces and experiences and serving their communities in the world. We have so many therapists and psychotherapists and social workers and coaches and teachers, yoga teachers and school teachers, meditation teachers. It's just a beautiful community of souls who are inspired to serve their communities in the way of teaching them the tools that we learn within the Yoga Nidra program. So if you feel inspired to learn more about these online trainings, you can find them on my website, alibuthroid.com, where you can learn more about our Yoga Nidra training, as well as our restorative yoga teacher training, and our online 200-hour yoga teacher training. I'd like to thank my dear friend Charlie for providing the sounds of the bowls today, and they are a mentor and teacher of sound meditation inside of the trainings as well. So thank you so much to Charlie, and thank you so much to each of you for being here today. I'd love to hear from you in the comments. You might share with me if you love the bowls in your practice. Um, for some people who are sensitive to sound or are hard of hearing, it's perfectly normal for the bowls to not work in your favor. And I recommend that you try other practices on my channel like voice only recordings or recordings with gentle wave sounds or whatever does work for you in your practice. Everybody is a little bit different in that way, in terms of what background sounds are supportive for you. If you're here from one of our 
online trainings. I can't wait to hear from you in the comments, and thank you so much for practicing with me today and being a part of our beautiful online community of souls who are here to dive deep into the wisdom and teachings of yoga and to serve, to go on our own journeys of self-discovery and in a lot of ways unlearning <laughs> and committed to service in our communities. I'm so grateful that you're here and please continue to move through the lessons and the journey at your own pace so that you might become a beacon of light for someone else on their journey as well. May you be peaceful, may you be happy, may you be healthy, may you be free. Namaste.